All right, guys, here's a quick video um, talking about how to tell the difference between a linear equation, exponential equation, and quadratic equation, okay? These are really, really simple to identify. Um, we can tell mainly by looking at our exponents, okay? On our first equation, I have y equals x plus 6. If I look at this equation, the highest exponential value, or the highest exponent that I have with my variable is 1. This x, again, we talked about last unit exponential properties, has an exponent of 1. So because it only has a 1 as the exponent, when that is its highest exponential value, we have a linear function. Okay, again, you can think of it as a 1, or if you look through a problem and there is no exponential value there, we're thinking linear function. It should create a straight line linear. Okay? Our second example here, y equals 3 to the x. If I have something that is to the x power, that is going to be our exponential function. So I think x as that power, we have exponential function. Okay? Our last one over here, if I'm looking through a problem and the highest power is 2. So if I have a 2 as its highest power, then we are looking at a quadratic function. Okay, There are three different ways that we can tell what we're dealing with. We can be looking at a graph, uh, we can be looking at a table, or we can look at the equation. The equation itself tells us what we're dealing with. If there is no exponent, or essentially the exponent of 1 is our only exponent, we have a linear function. If we're dealing with an exponent that has an x, a variable up above, then we're dealing with an exponential function. It's going to be changing. It's going to be growing rather quickly. Our last one, then again, like I said, if we have an exponent or the highest power of 2, then I know I have a quadratic function. All right, that's the quick and easy way to tell if we have a linear, exponential, or quadratic function looking at just the equations. See you guys.